Then, how should you armor your plant X turrets? If not this, what is the best way to armor your plant X turrets? Greetings dear watchers, welcome back to another tutorial, guide, a nice piece of information, whoever needs it. So, first of all, to armor plant X turrets, using this design is really not ideal, at least not today. You shouldn't do this, you should not armor your plants like this. This is a 3 year old design, made by one week, when it first came out, it was amazing to be honest but i think today we can do better let's try to do better and you decide which one is better to use now we have two new designs to protect our precious plant x turrets if you didn't know these plant x turrets are really good and very much needed at early game before we go into why you shouldn't use this design let's talk about why do we need to armor plant x turrets can't we just rush auto turrets and forget about the plant x turrets or just use them as they are what's the point of armoring them. Yes, you can just build auto turrets and don't even bother with the plant X turrets but until you get the tech turrets you should definitely use both of them because people cannot start soaking your turrets unless they got rid of your plant X turrets first because plant X turrets takes too much time to soak. They got 10 slots and that makes 500k fertilizers and they use 150 each time they shoot so that's more than 3k bullets. It's not a lot but also so they shoot a lot slower than auto turrets so we armor plant x turrets to make them harder to destroy so why you shouldn't use this old design very simple the railings railings blocks the line of sight and plant x turrets becomes useless they won't shoot they need that line of sight to shoot raiders can just hide behind the railings and even flame arrow your plants just standing next to them now let me just show you how to build this old design real quick you need to lower these two times and place the crop plot right in the middle so the foundation can support the hatch frame and you can extend with the ceilings or with foundations and place the railings but i think they changed this so you can just place the railings to the inside snap point it used to block that that's why we had to extend to use the outside snap point all right it is done this is the old design with the railings the main problem here is they block the line of sight we need that line of sight also for the pillar x plants never put your x plants on pillars especially near your base because the raiders can just go under it it's like what's the point now if they can just go under the x plant and hide well if you can add more railings it can be used to stop people going under your plant x turrets but still no line of sight there and you might say i'm gonna have turrets nearby so that's gonna fix all the problems it won't raiders gonna hide behind your pillar and they're gonna get closer to your base that's never good Anyway, this old design was really good 3 years ago. I really liked it, but today I rather use the new double foundations design to armor my plant X turrets. I mean, don't get me wrong, it will still be useful against enemy dinos if you're only targeting dinos. Like enemy soakers, they are coming up to your base and you want to slow them down. They can't silent soak your base without destroying your plant X turrets. Like a hill full of this will stop soakers coming up to your base for a while, but they might might just move past and go right at your door you can place some spikes around your pillars which this is the main idea with the pillar plant x turrets but spikes blocks more line of sight they will not have the line of sight for players but they can shoot racers stegos not good for a base defense but blocking away and denying your enemy to the road for that it's not really bad but also it's not really good because the spikes are really weak so never depend on raiders not having enough explosives t4s rockets and explosives are really cheap one rocket will destroy many of your spikes easily you should use railings if you want to block a path or use fence ports better use both of them like this wall here so you see after many many rockets rockets and c4s to clear this but with spikes it's just one rocket and all gone
Most important problem with this design is railings. They block the line of sight very badly. You already seen that but let's talk about a little bit more. Line of sight is something you desperately need for your plant exterits. With railings they can just hide and chill here. So what do armored plant exterits actually achieve? First of all they prevent raiders running to your crop plot and taking out the fertilizer. If your plant exterit is not armored raiders can just run to the crop plot and take out the fertilizer and then then your plant is dead. Another thing armored plant X turrets achieves is stopping the rock throw damage from rock golems, which that is very important. Golem riders cannot kill your plant X turrets if they are armored from a safe distance. And now we're gonna take a look at what do armored plant X turrets doesn't achieve. You already seen armor can't stop flame arrows and the armor also can't stop rockets and it can't stop the C4 or any other explosives. Also it can't stop a Giga or a Rex eating the plant. Also of course the tech rifle as long as they are close enough to get in the range they can damage the plant even though that's not the way to destroy a plant. So old and new design does the same thing but the new design has a lot more line of sight with being little bit more expensive on the resources. Anyway let's build this thing already just like the old design wheel over the foundation and place the crop plot but we don't use hatch frames we use another foundation. This is good both with metal and stone. Also do not forget to place a fence foundation to the first foundation the below one otherwise it will decay. So how do we access the crop plot now? Just from the side you can access the crop plot but so do raiders. To prevent that we don't add railings. We just use stairs. Three years ago we didn't have stairs on official. So there you go armored plant X turret. Nothing blocks the line of sight. No one can touch your crop plot and even you can't touch your crop plot. It's inaccessible. But then how are you gonna add the fertilizers? Well after your X plant is grown you can just add fertilizer like this. You don't have to open the crop plot. You can add by staring at the plant itself. And if your plant X is destroyed you just have to destroy one stair and access the crop plot like this. You can also make the same thing with all stone. If you are feeling rich, go with metal. Armoring your plant eggs is just a wrong way of saying armoring your crop plot. Yes, when we armor our crop plot, even your plant eggs gets destroyed. Your fertilizers and your crop plots will be still there. So you actually armor your crop plot. And that armor makes your crop plots indestructible. Of course, unless they destroy your armor too. Only then they can destroy the crop crop lot. All right, now the second new design works with both stone and metal. Also, it's very very cheap. This design mostly focuses on rock golems, throwing rocks, which that is the most important thing about armored plant X turrets. And this way, you don't need to have expensive armors, but the downside is you can't protect your fertilizer from runners unless you have the auto turret coverage. If you just place few fence posts like this, rock golems can't damage with throwing rocks and plant 
Plant X have the good line of sight. When they're armored, easiest way to destroy Plant X turrets will be unavailable to the raiders. When raiders pull up to your base, they will have to flame arrow your Plant X turrets. But that costs a lot of time and a lot of flame arrows. So they have to either bring a lot of flame arrows or just use their rock golems. And when you armor your Plant X turrets, golem rock throwing just doesn't work. And that leaves them spending a lot of time flame arrowing all of your plants. That is considering they brought enough with them because they're gonna need some arrows. More plants you have, more flame arrows they have to bring. Prim crossbow does 55 damage. So if they have 300 damage crossbow, that's three times more damage. So 165, that's almost nine for each plant. If you have like 10, that's 90. Let's say they miss 10 shots, 100 flame arrows for 10 plant eggs have like 30 plant eggs turrets well this is not gonna stop them but still they have to stand there and shoot your plants in that time one of your tribe mates might come online just with some plants if you can delay the raiders even for 30 minutes that's good for you and now just taming a rock golem won't work anymore use the cheap fence spots or the expensive foundations either way it's very worth it to armor your plant eggs turrets i use these designs on my official Official small tribe series most of these things come from being solo unofficial and trying my best to improve my defenses that leads to coming up with new things or searching and finding other people that already did i'm also gonna make another standalone video about this subject later on about rock golems and before we end this video let's get this straight i'm not really claiming this design it's been a while first time i used this design in one of my videos this is the video i used this design to armor my plant x turrets i'm not sure if i saw this on youtube or in game and maybe i just came up with it on single player i'm not really sure about this it's been a while there is a slight chance of this design being mine but it's slight anyway it doesn't really matter who came up with it and one more thing before this video ends while i was recording i found out instead of railings you can just place stairs this way it will be cheaper and also plantex turrets will keep the line of sight And it also works with ramps too. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. Thank you for watching, dear watchers. See you on the next video, which that will be how to stop rock golems early game.